guys, so today I'm going to start off a new series, another one I know, because I'm very focused to a human being, oh my god, I can't speak English today even, okay, so today I'm going to be playing an episode of EVE Online, in case you didn't know what EVE was, then EVE is a MMO about spaceships blowing each other up, right? And it's like all in one server, so there's 21,185 people playing on one server, so that's pretty cool. So, <coughs> now like the other videos, I've done like League of Legends and browser games that I've, I mean, I've done the browser games before. So like, unlike League of Legends, which is my other series, I have played this before, but only the tutorial. So, I'm gonna be creating another account now that I've got a few things for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy. <coughs> I also hope this is nauseous. Okay then. Thank you. So it's the game. Uh, go away. Yes. Go away. Yes. Huh? Okay, sorry guys. Second question. I'm not cutting this out because I don't know how to edit. Because I'm smoking bean. So there are two test servers, and there's one main server that everybody plays on, okay. So, we're going to be playing EVE, yeah, okay. So this is the game, this is the account I created. I'm going to create another one. So now I'm going to show you everything first. So there are four races, last time I chose the Kaldari. Founded on the tenets of patriotism and hard work and all that shit. So I because I chose this because it sounded cool, right? Pause the video because to read shit if you want to read shit. So I chose this video, chose this one because I thought it was cool, right? But apparently this one is for like not for PvP, and I like PvP because I'm smart and things. So apparently the best race for PvP is the Galante. Yeah, that one. Champions of liberty and the feathers of the downtrodden. The Galante play host to the only true democracy at New Eden. Okay, I'm gonna stop reading now. The other two are Amor, which is like this tyrant thing, and Mimata, which is this travel thing, and the Kaldari. I'm gonna go Galante, cause PvP. Okay. Bloodline. Galante. There are... The Galante? What the? Huh? The Galante value freedom and individual liberty above all else. Founder of the blah 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 blah. The nation of Jinmei is the latest. Blah 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 blah. Okay, and Intake. Blah 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 So I'm gonna look at the Jimmy again Cause they're Asian Cool Okay so I'm gonna be choosing the Jinmei just because they're Asian and I'm Asian too so Sorry if there's any racism there. <coughs> That's demonization. That is creepy as all fuck. That is creepy as all fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, okay then. Muscularity. I'm not gonna be a big bodybuilder, but I could have some muscle on me, you know? Wait. So I'm gonna be around average. So I'm gonna have more muscles than average and less weight than average. Because that's what I am. I'm a strong but lean human being. I am not fat at all. I am a strong and lean human being. <coughs> Moving on. Complexion. Oh my god. No, 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 no. 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 God. God. <coughs> oh 
Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I'm dying. No! I I'm doing that one. No. I have not aged. I will have no freckles. I will have some scarring. Yeah, okay. Eyes. I have dark brown eyes. Those eyes? Yep, those are my eyes. Hair, for fuck's sake. Finally, hair. That one? I mean, that one seems the most natural to me. Like, for like a pilot and stuff. No. I'm not gonna have any scarring. Thank you. And it's going to be black because I have black hair. Okay. My eyes will not be like that. Those are not nice eyes. My eyes will be like this. Because those are nice eyes. And I'm gonna have a bit of a beard. That? That? Nah. No, nah, that looks better. And, uh, yeah. That looks pretty nice. No, are, am I sure about that? No, that's too gray and... Uh, no, that's ugly. I'm not gonna have a goatee. Um... Should I have that? No. Sh no, that looks dumb. Uh, okay. What is the difference in this facial hair color? Mm, okay, I'm just starting to grow beard. Eye details. That or that? I have that. Lash thickness? Oh, that's okay. Chic. Why are there so many things? I don't need these things. No, that's ugly. No. No. Opacity. They're not opaque. Yeah, that, that looks okay. Outer. So I'm gonna zoom into my body. He is currently naked. Too fancy. Too black. That's okay. That's okay, that's better than, uh, not really, garish colors. No. Just not my style. No. The cheek pad, neck pads, things. Uh, no. That's too fancy fancy. Should I have that? It's a close contest between that and that one. I think that one wins, you know. Should I have this? Or should I have that? That, that. Which one looks better on this? That one, I think. And my top. I like red. What difference does this make? I have that. Because that looks good, even though I'm not gonna act weird as shit. Uh, what's, why am I taking so long with this? Because I want my character to look nice. Is that alright? No. Is that alright? Guess that's all right. How oh, that one? That looks all right. Uh, should that be okay? Those are too booty. I need sneakers. I 
Or should I borrow those sneakers? Yeah, those. Those look like a man's feet. Shoes, something. And I'm going to go for the classic shades. He looks like a gangster! No, I'm not gonna have any piercings. No tattoos. Scars. Head. That way or that way? That way, no. Yeah, yeah, he looks like some kind of guy who went through war and got the scar. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to the hair and just choose that. That looks more like a proper man's growing thing. So that looks like a man's man, right? Okay. <laughs> he doesn't like to look at the camera. Yeah, that looks like an imposing figure. <coughs> the good spirit is composed. Okay. No. Okay. Military school. No, military school. And because I'm so creative, I'm going to go with something that you haven't seen before. I'm so creative, so I'm going to go with something you haven't seen before. So you see, my name is Laser Bolt. So my first name is going to be Laser, and my last name is going to be Bolt. Cause I'm smart. Finalize. <coughs> yep, that looks cool. Laser bolt. I am an Asian. I am happy with this look. I also do not know how many minutes I have been recording. Cause I'm smart. Oh my god, that's been 13 minutes. 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Oh my god. Recruit. Wake up and respond. This is a mess. Recruit, what do you remember? Did you even see the drifter ambush that warped into your location and decimated the convoy? Coming in. I guess you panicked. Remember that? Well, Recruit, I am Fleet Commander Terrell. Fed I am waking up. From now on, I am your commanding officer. And together, we have to figure out what happened here. I'm going to lift your training restrictions sure. and grant you access to your ship's onboard AI. Say hi to Aura. She'll help you get your bearings. Greetings, Captain. I am Aura. I will assist you okay. in commanding your vessel and navigating New Eden. My core logic library has been cool. to increase the odds of survival. Hello! Of magnitude. Hello! But I am only capable of advising. Hello! You must make decisions for yourself. Simulations have proven that situational awareness Thank you. to survival. I will now demonstrate how to become aware and alert. Yay! What? Captain, mm -hmm. if you close my comms window for any reason, you will be able to recall it. Obviously. To orbit. Okay. But what? I'm already aware and alert. Zoom in or out. Uh. Scroll your mouse wheel up or down. Okay. Let's test basic navigation functions. According to my logs, a Titan I know how to do that. Your fleet was destroyed. It would be useful to locate that ship oh. navigating towards it. 
that's useful. Stop your ship. You should click the highlighted stop button. <coughs> Using these functions will help you explore the site. Okay. You've gotta be kidding me. Is this da 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 Okay. Looks like you're all I've got to work with. Fine. But I need you to get moving. My sensor feed is indicating additional life signals near your location. Your convoy was transporting a critically important research team. No life if the information they have were to be retrieved by the drifters, it would be a yes. security disaster for the Federation. You need to survey the convoy wreckage for potential survivors. Captain, I have received faint signals from three survivors. To help determine the location of the signal, you should use okay. the look and approach functions of your ship to get closer. Being close will allow you to see what's inside each wreck. To focus your camera... Next, right-click on the wreckage and select the approach command. Look at... To transfer everything from their cargo hold to your own, move your mouse pointer over the wreckage and hold okay. down the left mouse button. A radial menu will appear. Select open cargo to view the content. Now, I, I've been through this before, so I'm gonna go through this. So pretend I don't know. The loot all button. You should close the inventory window. Stop. Using the X in the corner. It's best practice to close windows when you... Yeah, I know all of this, so... I'm receiving but pretend I don't. The next survivor is located in the I looted the survivor. Right click on the wreckage and select approach. Where is my inventory window? Transfer the survivor to your ship. You should repeat the same steps as before. Move your mouse pointer over the wreckage and hold down the left mouse button. A radio okay. menu will appear. Select now we do this three times. To view the contents and then press the loot <coughs> all button. Right. Okay. Okay, I get that. Cool. <laughs> and now we wait. Uh, stop. My scanners indicate one more. Oh, too late. Do I take any damage? No, I don't. Oh, I click loot all. Now I put my graphics to the lowest because my game lags. I will approach said highlighted wreckage. <coughs> Hurry up then. This is the lowest graphic settings. And even then, it's fucking hell. The textures are still okay, I guess. No, they're not. They're not okay. But they're fine. I guess. Don't mind that. That was nobody. I am definitely not in my underpants or anything. Oh, well, seriously, I'm in my school clothes. That's why. So that's my helper. She will be with you. For the next from the sisters fifteen minutes sisters. doing God knows what. Thank you for saving my life. The attack was complete carnage. Thousands uh. were killed. Our research on drifter strikes indicates they will likely return Ow. to this location to retrieve any survivors. Hello. And not for good. I believe the drifters mm. want those survivors for invasive information extraction. Obviously. It's very invasive. You know? Such information is classified and of great value to the Empire, but since my survival depends on you, I am entrusting you with this. Recruit? Honestly, I thought you'd be so much cooling scrap and gas by now. Oh. Yeah, here you are with our top research scientist in your ship. I'll let you in on a little secret. 
The scientists you just recovered may have information about the source of this incursion. Oh. This means it's now a top priority to get you and your vessel home safely. The only problem is, the drifters will be looking to rip anything living out of your ship and bring it back to who knows where. We don't know what happens to the survivors, but let's just say there's little hope cool. to respect anyone's personal space. I doubt you noticed cool. the drifters raised some sort of warp disruption field around your location. This means you can't warp out. That's scary. However, the generator of this field will be close by. Locate and destroy it, and you'll be free to leave. Oh. Captain, in your ship's overview, you can see what your ship's scanners are picking up around you. Find your warp disruption generator in the ship's overview. Then, hold down the left... To lock your weapon system on the generator, hold down your left mouse button on the generator and select lock. While engaging the optimal flight path. Excellent. You are in the optimal position. I suggest you fire your primary weapon. I know all that. Pew 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 die pew 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 so you're going to have to Yeah. Wait a second. We're out of time. And now there's another one. Recruit. Oh wait. Like you're about no. to get your opportunity to fight for the Federation. <coughs> the drifters use seekers as scouts and raiders, and one just warped in. You need to take it out. Aura, fire up the combat routines. Our recruit needs your help. We can't afford to lose the trainee now. Captain, I need you to remain calm. You are flying a Corvette fitted with a civilian class weapon system. Well, where the fuck is it? To lock your weapon system on the Seeker, hold down your left mouse button on it and... Please orbit. Now it's time to engage your weapons, Captain. Target? Orbit. Fire. Wait, no, no, you answer. You answer, I'm doing a video. Don't forget to stop your ship. Yeah, I'm kind of, yeah. Sorry, that's my helper again. Your first kill. So now, we wait. Pew, 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 yay. I went to pew, pew, and it died. What? Wait. Of course. Are determined to get a hold of you right no! Now. Another one of their seekers is warped in. Captain, let's see what you have learned. Uh, Can you take out the second seeker with minimal instruction? First, approach the seeker. Well, they're pushovers. Now select lock target on the seeker. Yes. Get over here. Approach. When you have defeated target, stop your ship. Orbit. Destroy. Stop messing. Bleh. Stop shooting me. Stop it. It's a rule to shoot at people. <sighs> Captain, you can explore the seeker wrecks to see if they left anything behind. Move your mouse over the wreckage. Stop shooting me! Seriously, stop that. Menu will appear. Select open cargo to view the content. Pew, pew. And then click the loot all button. Remember to get close. 
How did he like that taste of freedom? I appreciate your determination, recruit, so I'm sure you'll handle what I'm about to tell you. We've been shadowing a squadron of Drifter battleships, and they've changed course for your location. It doesn't matter how much of a natural you are with that railgun, you can't take on a normal battleship in a Corvette. Let alone Drifter tech battleships. No, I normally could just do that. They will crush you and cast your vote into a black hole. Destroy the secondary warp disruption generator immediately. Let's hope no more seekers turn up. You have a narrowing window. Captain, locate the backup generator in your overview and approach it. No. A little. Let me do this first. Yay. I will approach said thing. I will then, uh, no, not my Corvette. Go away, Corvette. Go there. I will approach you. When you are close to the generator, you <coughs> after locking target on the generator, you should orbit. Activate your primary weapon to destroy the generator. <laughs> doing that, doing this, doing that, doing everything. Stop messing. Listen carefully. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Squadron has warped to your location by destroying the generator. You've removed the warp disruption field that shrouded the site. Taking on this drifter force will be a pointless yeah, it's dead now. and freedom. Not to mention those survivors, which federal intelligence needs to debrief. Report to headquarters with your vessel and precious cargo now. Captain, your ship is fitted with a warp drive, okay. which is capable of bending space and time in order to efficiently displace you toward your destination. Okay. I have overridden the ship's clearance system. How? Oh. Access to the drive active. Find your HQ highlighted in the overview. Hold down your left mouse button and select dock on the radial menu. You do not want to face these giant drifter ships by yourself. Dock. <laughs> obviously, obviously, I know how to do this. Let me warp there. I'm warping. I want to look at that. Let me see. No, let me see that. Oh, can't see them anymore. <coughs> Let's just warp home, warping home. Oh, that's a planet. Goodbye, planet. Goodbye, another planet. Oh, home now. Yay. Now there are so many people here. And I'm a home. I'm home, baby. Federation Academy. Plenty of elite capsuleers began their journey here. Going on to expand What, Federation you're gonna let me in or not? Across New Eden. Now, to our current situation. It turns out the Sisters of Eve research team had zeroed in on the whereabouts of the drifters. And get this, it is some sort of massive hive. <coughs> We are urgently requesting more information from Professor Tanner, but this result has attracted attention in high places. Due to your efforts, the Senate's Drifter Emergency Commission has authorized the Federation Navy to mobilize for a counterattack. This was made possible by your actions today. As a gesture of our appreciation, the Galente Federation has awarded you with a bonus in ISK. The money will be useful in your promising career, but it's not all. I've spoken on your behalf with Navy Command. I've been given special authority to accept yeah. your capsuleer training. Because I want you to be a part of the counterattack. Captain, bonus payments and accelerated training are quite unusual for a recruit of your status. Yeah. What? It is an honor to be serving with you. I must warn you though, capsuleer training is the hardest yeah. and complicated training process known to man. Only a fraction of us endure it. An accelerated process is going to be very challenging. 
However, so far you have been performing well. The funds you received are awarded in ISK or interstellar credits. This is the main currency of New Eden and can be used for everything from buying supplies to bribing other capsuleers. Well, you highlighted your wallet. I killed two kinkers and you're telling me I performed well. Recruit, your accelerated training is sure going to begin with a vital mission. One of the Federation's advanced cool. outposts in the region has gone off the grid. This one recruit is a black site. The research outpost is a facility where the Sisters of Eve have been working with us. As the rescuer of their people, the Sisters have asked that you be the one to carry out the investigation. You need to prepare for this journey, and Aura will help you get ready. Captain, I am running different preparation scenarios. Research outposts like these often contain highly sensitive data troves that are securely encrypted. I believe it would be wise to have the ship's capability with a data analyzer module. Okay. However, it seems like the Empire's stock of analyzers in this region are fully depleted due to ongoing drifter attacks. After analysis, it is my conclusion you should build one. So you're gonna build a data analyzer for your mission? Okay. Makes sense to me. But you'll need the necessary materials to construct it. The best way to get materials for this is to right. look at pirates. Those scum have abused the Federation's freedoms and are a blight on our so how do we do that? Still, they're bound to be hoarding supplies, and that means they'll likely have what you need. Now, don't worry too much about how much you confiscate. Think of anything extra as a bonus. Remember, the Federation's laws are enacted for the good of the people. Those of us who defend those laws should be rightly rewarded. Captain, it should come as no surprise that a pirate colony can be a dangerous place to enter alone. Might I suggest an upgrade to your vessel? You have been issued a repair module you can fit on your ship. Additionally, you can improve the effect of your existing afterburner module by training a skill. An acceleration control skill book has also been issued to you for this purpose. Skill training is vital for your progression in New Eden, and the skill you okay. use will prepare you for your path. The fact of the acceleration model of training a skill, and the acceleration control skill book has also been issued to you for the purpose of. Fuck it. <laughs> Okay, guys, sorry, that's the phone. Gonna answer the phone. Gonna peace out. Hello? Well, how are you? Well, how? Mommy? I'm recording a video. Is it okay if you call me back? No, I'm not performing in Friday. I'll look at it. I'll look at it quickly. You okay, I'll look at it quickly. Okay, bye. From your redeemable items. I Sorry about that. That's my mom. Okay. Manage skills. And clicking redeem items. Once there, you can click on the items and select redeem selected items. <laughs> Now I know how to do this. Redeem items. Will now be in your to train a new skill, simply drag it skill book. Redeem your selected training items. Your training yes. You can queue up additional training or train skills you've learned to the next level by Now you should upgrade your ship by fitting the repair module to it. To do this Right click on the module and select Fit to Active Ship. To see what you have fitted on your ship currently, you should click on the ship fitting icon now highlighted. Captain, your Corvette class ship is now equipped with a repair module, an afterburner for speed, and a civilian weapon system for dealing damage. I now calculate your combat odds against a moderate-sized pirate gang to be at an acceptable level. As the pirates are outlaws in New Eden, 
There are bounties on their heads. Captain, proceed to neutralize those pirates and earn those bounties. I have highlighted the cool. dock option for you. You should press this when you reach the station and travel the stars. Cool. 